Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to my channel. In today's story, OP is in a loveless marriage. And not just that, but the financial decisions of his partner has left him in a really precarious state in regards to his finances. He finally decides to leave his wife, but her reaction is so frustrating. I do hope that you enjoy this story. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. I also wanted to ask everyone watching that if you do enjoy my content and would like to support me, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and I'm a little over halfway there. And your likes and subscriptions really, really help. Lastly, thank you so much to all of the people that have already subscribed. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. Anyways, on to the story. I'm leaving my wife tomorrow and I couldn't be happier. I, a 45-year-old male, and my wife, a 44-year-old female, have been married for 10 years. We dated for 6 years before that and I got a lot of pressure to get married from my parents, her parents, her. Something in my gut said that this wasn't right. I called it cold feet and did my best to ignore it. We got married. Pretty much the moment the ink was dry on our marriage license, things went south. On our honeymoon, she did nothing but complain I hadn't booked a nicer hotel. In the following months, she wanted a new apartment, a new car, gifts, jewelry, handbags. It was never enough. It's like the moment she got the ring, it stopped being about me and became about what I could give her. I'm a doctor. I make good money but not good enough to support the kind of lifestyle she wants though. We don't sleep together anymore. We don't laugh. We don't talk about anything but money. We have no kids. She said that she wanted them before marriage, but then changed her mind. Our home looks like a showroom. There's no warmth or joy or even comfort here. I hate it. I hate her. I'm a 45-year-old physician and I have barely enough savings to sustain us for 3 months. I want to retire someday. I want to enjoy my life. I rented a cool apartment across town in a less quote-unquote desirable neighborhood and there's a stack of IKEA furniture waiting for me to set it up there. The lease is up on the Mercedes my wife pushed me to lease next month and I'll be replacing it with a used Prius. I'm starting therapy next week. I have a divorce attorney who has assured me that the prenup we signed before marriage means that I won't have to pay alimony. I hope to leave the higher paying job that my wife insisted I take for something with less hours sometime in the next year. I'm going to ask out the pretty barista who flirts with me every morning. I'm telling my wife first thing tomorrow. I'm expecting her to cry and beg and demand we try therapy. I don't want any of that. This was never right. I'm only sorry it took me so long to realize it. I'm sorry I've wasted so much of my life being married to a woman because I thought it was the right thing. I'm so excited. OP then went on to add a couple of clarifying comments. Thanks to everyone who has concerns about the prenups, but my lawyers and I are confident. At the time we got married, she had a significant inheritance. Now it's nearly gone, which her family insisted on seeing protected. Her lawyer and my lawyer agreed on this. We both signed. Someone asked OP, what about the house? To which OP replied, the house is a monstrosity with almost no equity in it. She can keep it. All hers. I don't care. First of all, damn, I didn't expect the first post to blow up. I really was getting it off my chest and expected a few good luck comments and not much more. I know a lot of people were going to ask for an update, so here goes. Usually, when I wake up, I go for a run or a bike ride. When I'm gone, my wife gets up, gets dressed, gets a smoothie going, whatever. This morning, I paced the kitchen, rehearsing what I had to tell her over and over again. When she finally came down, I felt oddly calm. I wasn't expecting to be panicked exactly, but apprehensive at least. I told her that I needed to speak to her. She gave me an uh-huh and didn't look up from the coffee machine. Then I just came out with it. 
I told her that I was leaving and that I wanted a divorce and that we hadn't been happy in a long time and I felt as though she didn't care about me or my emotional needs. Pretty much instantly the gaslighting began. She cried that I never get her flowers anymore, that I don't do enough to support her, that I don't care if she's happy. I brought up the fact that I suggested therapy over a year ago and she agreed and then made excuse after excuse not to go. I brought up the times that she completely ignored the budget that we worked on. I told her how it made me feel when she dismissed me when I tried to tell her how I was feeling. The crying escalated then, along with begging for a chance to make this right, to go to therapy, that she would be better. It went like I thought it would, and I felt absolutely nothing. I just don't care anymore. Whatever I once felt for her is just dead and gone, and she might as well have been a second cousin sobbing about her marriage for all the connection I felt to it. Eventually, I just got fed up and walked out. She's been blowing up my phones with calls and texts, which ranges from angry to begging to threatening. I started getting calls from her mother and mine too by the end of the day. I spoke briefly to my mother and calmly explained that I was sorry she didn't hear it from me, but my wife was sucking me dry financially and emotionally and I couldn't do it anymore. She was surprisingly supportive. I'm currently in my new apartment. I enrolled the mattress in a box and went to Walmart for sheets. I ate Thai takeout for dinner at the kitchen counter and watched a bit of Netflix on my computer. I have everything I need for the next few days. My wife is getting served tomorrow. I keep expecting the sadness to set in but it hasn't. I feel like a thousand pounds are off my shoulders and suddenly my future is full of possibilities. I'm going to travel. I'm going to try new restaurants. I'm going to take a job that actually makes me happy and proud instead of rich. Much to the internet's charge in, I will ask out the barista. Because despite the unpopular opinion, she's both age appropriate, it is her family's business, and I do have interpersonal skills to recognize the difference between customer service and an actual connection. Cheers to everyone, I'm going to have a beer and then take a walk around my new neighborhood. OP then added an edit. Alright folks, I've gotten a lot of comments begging me not to ask out the barista as it's her job to be nice to me. I didn't really get into the relationship that I have with her because I don't think it was relevant to the divorce, but here it goes. I met her about a year ago, she's 30. I don't usually wear a wedding ring because my job requires me to scrub regularly. She actually asked me out, invited me to a food truck festival in town a few months into knowing each other. I said I was married and she was embarrassed. Since then, we've had a bit of a running joke going where she asked me, so still married? My current plan is to reply, not for long, and see what happens. I appreciate the internet's apprehension. In truth, I would probably say the same thing if I didn't know the backstory, but I promise I'm not a creep. So it's been over a week since I asked the divorce and things are slowly progressing. My wife and I sat down yesterday to discuss the next few months. She's still extremely in denial about my leaving and seems to be convinced that if she offers me the right thing or says the right words, I will come back. I won't. I don't love her anymore. I don't feel any loyalty towards her and the divorce is just a legal formality for how I'm already feeling, which is that she's not my wife. She's gotten representation and my attorney is preparing to offer a generous settlement more than she's entitled to, if she signs quickly and we can start moving forward. I'm almost positive that she will reject it in hopes of keeping this going long enough for me to back down. However, yesterday I more or less said, I'm not changing my mind, let's not waste money on the lawyers because you think I will. But I don't think she really heard me. I'm readying myself for a fight. I know a lot of people were curious about the barista and I actually have a small update on that front as well. Two days ago, I managed to work the divorce into a conversation with her, and she was surprised but seemed happy for me. She's a ceramic artist and invited me to a fundraising event her studio is throwing for our city's community pantry, and I'm going. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for all the support, everyone. I'm feeling extremely optimistic about my life, and while the divorce is sure to suck, I still wake up every day happy and excited for my day. I haven't felt like that in years. So guys, what did you think about this? From OP's first post, 
it was so blatantly clear how toxic his ex-wife is. Like, I don't know how long the guy's been a physician for, but he only has three months worth of savings? How is that even possible? I understand that our financial systems are set up in such a way that it doesn't necessarily support class mobility. However, if you are an effing physician, you're earning a lot. And that means that you have to be making incredibly toxic financial choices to be able to just throw away so much money. I don't know, I just find it incredibly frustrating when people that have money succumb to lifestyle inflation and then just pretty much blow away that money, you know? But I'm so glad that OP got out of that toxic marriage and I wish him the best. So what did you guys think? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Anyways, once again, if you did like the story, please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.